difficult for people to maintain a satisfying and happy relationship over many years. Couples all often focus on family, yep. work, other major life issues, and uh, the research says that people really aren't putting enough effort mm -hmm. into their relationship. Dr. Tim McCarthy is a psychologist and a marriage and family therapist who has developed a new way of approaching marriage and love relationships. His book is called Relationship Co-Coaching, A New Approach to Deeper Love, Less Conflict. It's what we all want. Yes. Deeper love, less conflict. Tim right. is here with our relationship guru, Dr. Kirsten Lynn Seal. Great to have you both with us today. Thanks. Uh, Tim, let's start with you. I mean, what? how, how did this whole line of, uh, of thought start for you? Well, interestingly, I had been working with couples for 28 years until seven years ago in 2010. And I just saw how slow going it was for couples to really make change. They get caught in these patterns and defensiveness, tension, and conflict. And I found it was just really difficult for me to get out of this. And I thought, there's got to be a better way. And actually, I have a practice where I do executive coaching and work with companies and found that I was seeing people change more quickly there. And so I mm -hmm. created this process called relationship co-coaching. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing couples change in ways just remarkably that I had never seen before in the first 28 years. So how does it work exactly when you're talking about coaching? I think we can all look at it from a business standpoint, but in relationships, coaching seems kind of foreign. Yeah. Well, it really rests upon the idea of coaching being authentic feedback, authentic communication with one another, knowing that as you live with somebody, there's going to be things that you don't like. There's slights, there's hurts. So being able to share not only the positives with your partner, but being able to share those things that hurt your feelings, that bother you, that ordinarily would build up inside of you until then there's underlying tension, conflict, and it hurts the closeness in the relationship. So it's about communication, but there's two principles that it really rests upon that, that is very different from the ordinary way of looking at romantic love and marriage, and that is unselfish love. And then also learning to resolve conflict through being gentle and being softer in the way that you do it. And Kirsten, mm -hmm. you see this in your practice often that yes. when people are trying to resolve conflict, well, let's just say a soft approach is not normally what's coming right. into play, right. right? It's not what people do. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so one of the things that I really like about this approach is that it sort of encourages people to kind of come up and look, sort of look at their relationship from a little bit of a higher mm -hmm. place to sort of say, like, oh, you know what, our relationship isn't going so well. We're falling back into that pattern of conflict. Like, we always argue about this particular thing, sort of saying to each other, wow, we, let's do this better this time. We know a little more. Let's try this new way of being. Have you started to kind of incorporate this into some of your sessions? Yes, yes. In fact, I have. And so a lot of the stuff that he writes about is based on the same research that that mm -hmm. you know most couples therapists sure. you know are are basing their practice on um, but it's just a little bit of a different lens and so I mean I've actually said to people like you know when you see yourself falling back into that pattern can you kind of think of yourselves as a team like together we're gonna try to get out of this argument instead of having it be so I'm right no you're right mm -hmm. you know this sort of we are together which totally goes is consistent with say Gottman's idea of turning towards each other which yeah. is so important in relationships but the idea Tim that people dig out of it together it kind of just changes the way you think about the conflict. Well, it, it? it really does. When you change your belief system from the individualistic, uh, self-centered approach to love that's so prevalent in our society to unselfish love. Let, and so you enter marriage for the purpose of let me find out what it is that you need to feel deeply loved and let me do that for mm -hmm. you. What do you need? Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you what need? Do we need? Mm -hmm. And then there's change that begins to occur. Part of it is finding out what does your partner what do they really need? And it may be very different from yours. Does this yeah. really work? I mean, is, is this something that works? I think about different phases mm -hmm. of your relationship where you might want to reboot it. Mm -hmm. uh, once you're pretty deep into conflict and trouble, is it mm -hmm. possible to take that broader view? Or is Absolutely. this more preventative, you need to do this earlier? No, it's, well, it's, it's, it's both, but it, in particular when you're having problems, because mm -hmm. when you consciously step forward, when there's tension in the relationship and conflict, and you say, let me find out what it is that you need, and then you begin doing that, mm -hmm. there is a phenomenal thing that happens. There is a, it just, the other person begins to soften and melt, and then want to come back and do those things for you, too. And then when you learn how to yeah. handle your conflict, by not being aggressive and angry and making accusatory statements, mm -hmm. and you learn how to soften and talk to one another, those two combinations 
are powerful in creating change in the relationship. Really fascinating. Well, mm -hmm. we appreciate having you guys on today. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, Dr. McCarthy's book, Relationship Co-Coaching, A New Approach to Deeper Love, Less Conflict, available on Amazon or through his website. Thank you both for coming in. Yeah, we appreciate thanks. it. Thanks.